Hi everyone, welcome to Tim's Final Confessions. I'm Tim Derling, thank you for watching. And on this episode, uh, it's a follow-up, kind of a follow-up episode. I've done a couple episodes now where I've talked about going through my 45s, mostly my picture sleeve singles, but I realized that by doing that, there's a, quite a few um, singles that I've got in other formats that I've sort of neglected. So it's kind of a mixed bag of formats on here, but the thing they have in common is that they're all singles. So I thought I'd go through uh, what I had for non-45 singles on this episode. Um, and I'll go through it in alphabetical order. For me, that just makes the most sense. First one I got to show you is this. This is Aerosmith, The Other Side. Uh, this is not a cassette single, although you will see a couple of those. This is a uh, cassette maxi single. This is a U.S. edition on Geffen. And... This has uh, three different versions of the other side. It's got the LP version, the Matt Dyke honky tonk version, and the club mix. And on the other side, it's got them from Saturday Night Live with the theme from Wayne's World, which at the time I first heard this, I did not stay up late. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is Wayne's World? I really didn't know what it was. And then it's got My Girl from Pump, which was the standard B-side of this song. I got another Aerosmith to show you. Don't have a lot of CD singles, but most of the ones I've kept over the years, there's a reason. This is Falling in Love is Hard on the Knees from Nine Lives. Very, very slim writing on the side there. This has a non-LP B-side called Fall Together. Not a bad song. They've got a few like that that uh, would be cool to have them all collected in one place. Uh, next one is one of the few cassette singles that I still have. Actually, I had this and then... I think it was Jeff Witcher that sent me a bunch of tapes, and this was one of them. This is Bon Jovi in These Arms, uh, and it's got on the B-side the non-LP song Save a Prayer, which was on the international and the bonus versions of the Keep the Faith album, and a live version of this single. So cassette singles, man, I used to have, I probably had about 50 of those, but I, I got rid of them over the years. And some of them I kind of regret getting rid of, but... Uh, some of it was to do with storage, and some of it was like, why do I have these things? In a lot of cases, they didn't have anything different on them. But there are, there are a few that had, like, cool covers on them. So, anyway, regrets. Uh, I've got a bunch of uh, Darkness singles to show you here. And, um, unfortunately, a lot of these singles fell prey to the top, one of my top CD shelves uh, crashing down. And I haven't yet found replacement cases for them. So... Uh, I'm not going to go through the B-sides, that's for another episode, but get your hands off my woman. Love is only a feeling. A little seasonal classic, Christmas time, don't let the bells end. The big hit, obviously, I believe in a thing called love. Growing on me, and uh, those are all, well, except for the Christmas song. Those are all from the first album, Permission to Land. I got a couple from the second, One Way Ticket. And is it just me? Next. Um, cool story behind this one. Uh, I remember um, someone telling me at school that this was out. They thought it was a brand new album. And uh, we used to have a chain up here in Canada called a, a Records and Tapes. They had just opened a store in my hometown. And so I bugged my mother to run me up. It closed at 5.30, so I just barely got there for closing time. Sure enough, they had one of these left. Def Leppard, The Rocket EP. Again, uh, there was a cassette single issued with this cover on it, but this is a four-song EP. I just thought it was the coolest thing. So it's got the Lunar Mix, which was the video, the single mix of the album that was the radio single. Uh, it's got a live version of Women, which would later come out on Live in the Round in Your Face. This was a little preview of that, even though I don't think we realized it. Uh, it's got the extended version of the Lunar Mix and a, a live version of Rock of Ages, which is pretty cool because they do a medley uh, in the middle of that where they do like Radar Love, Not Fade Away, Come Together, um, I'll say A Whole Lot of Love, I might be missing one, but they, yeah, they, do a, they do a medley of classic rock songs in the middle of it, and advertisement for the Historia video cassette, and an update on um, their upcoming album, which would still be, you know, uh, three more years, but yeah, this was this was a fun thing to, to come upon. Fairly well known one. I don't think this is very rare these days. Doc and Dream Warriors. Um, 
this is a, you know, they were doing cassette singles in 87, but I've never, this is the only copy of this I've ever seen. Now, this was of value at the time because it had the song Back for the Attack, which was not on the album of the same name. Next one I've got is a really elaborate one, and, 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 and people that collect international singles know that the UK go all out with singles. What the heck is in this box? Well, if you've seen my extreme vinyl episode, you'll know what it is. Uh, this is the, uh, the single to Hip Today from Waiting for the Punchline, which I, I, I don't think was ever released on vinyl, at least not back in the day. Uh, it may be reissued eventually, but um, yeah, this is the only like Waiting for the Punchline material I have on vinyl. It's got a B-side on it called Never Been Funked that never ended up on an album. It's got their version of Strutter from the Kiss My Ass tribute. And then it's got the 1987 demo of Wind Me Up that ended up on the, the first album. So it's kind of a, kind of a weird looking uh, thing, uh, but cool. Huge poster, I'm not gonna open it up, but it's, as you can tell, it's the, it's the Waiting for the Punchline album art. Uh, this would have been, I guess, not the Obi strip, but I guess this would have been a wraparound thing that would have originally come with it. Uh, it's falling apart. <laughs> yeah, really elaborate. Uh, they, they went all out for their the bands in the UK, and then here's the, the single itself on A&M Records. Kind of an unwieldy thing, so I don't have a lot of these, but man, is it ever cool to look at. Extreme's another band with a lot of B-sides that need need to find a proper home. Uh, next up, I haven't got a lot of picture discs. I, I got this one. I think Will gave me this one. This is Helix, but what is it? Well, it's uh, Gimme give Gimme give Good Lovin' and When the Hammer Falls from Walking the Razor's Edge. This, uh, I believe, is a UK... Well, no, it's on Capitol. I can't tell where this came from. Somebody out there can tell me. I seem to think it's UK for some reason, but uh, it's pretty cool. Another Helix single, I bought this directly from their website, like a, like a lot of the recent stuff. This is uh, Devil's Having a Party Tonight with the Tequila Song on the other side of it. Um, one I've talked about before, but I still think is quite cool. This is a um, promo single for New Girl Now from Honeymoon Suite when it first came out. So I think it predates the first album by maybe a month or so. But what's really cool about this is that on the B side, it's got an open-ended interview. And there would have been originally a cue sheet uh, that would have come with this record. And if I ever had it, I don't know where it went. Uh, but I bought this... Uh, our Sam the Record Man was clearing out a bunch of stuff. Um, so this would have been something shipped to radio stations and record stores. And the open-ended interview would make it sound like the DJ was interviewing the band. And each, um, it's got all these little tiny little bands on the record itself where it's an interview with Darian and Johnny from HMS and they just answer the questions. It's pretty cool. Uh, next is... Uh, Kiss, God Gave Rock and Roll to You Too from Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Um, there's two other songs on here, Junior's Gone Wild by King's X and Shout It Up by Slaughter. I'd really wish they'd have put Battle Stations by Winger on here because that song's hard to find It's other, other than getting the soundtrack. So Metallica, of course, singles, nothing new for those guys. Um, this is a, it's kind of an EP, but it's kind of a single. It's Whiplash. This came out... It's actually got a copyright date on it from 85 uh, on Megaforce, but uh, this is before Elektra reissued Kill 'Em All, so I guess they were still able to do this. But So it's got Jump on the Fire, which is uh, was a single from Kill 'Em All, Anesthesia, Pulling Teeth, Whiplash, Seek and Destroying, Phantom Lord. Uh, nothing really inside of it. Nothing, No writing on this side at all. And I can't remember if that's because it's blank. I can't remember. But anyway, kind of cool. I don't think it's rare. Another Metallica thing, this was a Black Friday exclusive from back in 2014. So this is before Hardwired to Self-Destruct came out. This is Lords of Summer. Now this song actually didn't make the standard Hardwired to Self-Destruct album. It is on the deluxe version. I think it's a pretty cool song. There's what's called a first pass version and then a live version. And this is one of those singles that supposedly has etching on it. I'm not opening it, so this is pretty cool. Uh, next one is really, really weird because... You know, I think a lot of us know what cassette singles look like. You know, they had the, the cardboard that wrapped around, you know, 
But this one is totally different. Again, I got to thank Jeff Witcher for this one. Uh, this is Night Ranger. I did it for love from probably my favorite Night Ranger album, Man in Motion. But this is a cassette single. U.S. on MCA comes in a standard case. Get uh, just Woman in Love on the other side of it. And both songs on both sides. But, uh, yeah, it's a little bit more, a little more guts in it than your average cassette single. Uh, next one, this was, uh, I think this might have been either a Black Friday or a rec record day, record store day exclusive. Uh, Matt got me this one. It's a reprint of Queen Bohemian Rhapsody with its original B-side, I'm in love with my car. It's pretty cool. One of, uh, another a really elaborate UK sleeve that I have talked about briefly before. This is Queensryche and Bridge from Promised Land, and this is just a 7-inch picture sleeve single. Um... On the B side is a live version of The Killing Words. And I'm not going to take it out because it's just, it's huge. It's got a huge poster of the group. But it's very, very cool. This thing's heavy. Like, this poster is like, I don't know, four by... I'm not sure how big this would be if I folded the whole thing out. I haven't got room to put it anywhere, but it's cool. Uh, next up is the only other cassette single I've still held on to. It's Rush, Ghost of a Chance. This is a U.S. one on Atlantic. Um... And the main reason I kept this one is because on the B side of this, it's got an interview with John Derringer from Q107 in Toronto talking about Roll the Bones and the band in general. And I think when I first got this, it was um, probably the most I'd ever heard Neil Peart speak because most of the times the interviews I'd seen up to this point were with Getty and Alex. So kind of cool. Next one, another UK single. Uh, Tesla and Signs. Um, it's got... Uh, Live acoustic version of Little Susie, UK single on Geffen, and it's not, let me see, let me see if I can show you what this is about. The re It's not on the record, um, it's it's all about this, this sleeve that it's in, so pretty blue vinyl, uh, just very, very cool. Uh, I was, um, when I bought this off Discogs, I was actually looking for Five Man Acoustical Jam on vinyl. It is super expensive on vinyl, so I settled for the single off of it. And uh, I think a lot of you probably out there, if your fans have this because of one particular reason, uh, Van Halen, Can't Stop Loving You. This is actually a Japanese single on Warner Brothers. And Van Halen did not do a lot of B-sides. This one has one of the rare exceptions, which is the song Crossing Over. Um, but it's also got Right Now and Man on a Mission from the... Uh, live right here right now live album so um that's why i've ended up with that and then i got a bunch of y and t singles which i've gone through before but i'm going to go through them again um these are just the 12 inch ones that i've got and m promo single for i believe in you from the uk uh, dirty girl another uk single These, some of these promo singles, they're U.S., but they were made for their promo, promotion only, not for sale. Like these would have only been sent to radio stations. This is for Down and Dirty for Bean Streak, as advertised here. Um, and this is the uh, the U.K. Mean Streak single proper. I love this cover art. I mean, I, I don't like it as much as the actual art, but I, I, I think this is really cool for an alternate. I like how they made the logo out of uh, barbed wire. Very, very cool. The UK, like, they just, they supported, they supported this band in particular. They, you know, went all out with some really cool singles, as you can see. Uh, as opposed to A&M in their home country. Um, another one from this time period. I believe this is another uh, UK one. Yeah. Midnight in Tokyo. Got some tour dates on the back of this. Uh, so now we're up to In Rock We Trust era. This is another promo single. This one's actually got a customized sticker for lipstick and leather, which is pretty cool. The big one, of course, the big Y&T song, their, their, their biggest pop success, Summertime Girls. This is a UK sleeve, uh, which has Summertime Girls. It's got the live version, which wasn't available for many years. Another UK sleeve, of course, since the standard A&M 
look. Uh, I did an entire episode of my Y&T singles where I went through uh, my picture sleeves and other things like that too. But yeah, a lot of these ones ended up being 12 inch ones. It's actually not the only one from Open Fire. This is another promo single for uh, Open Fire. It's also got the Go For The Throat and uh, another live version of Summertime Girls. And this was, the serial number on this is actually Free 5. So I paid for this, but it was free originally. Only other thing I got from Down For The Count um, is a promo single for Bass Like An Angel. Just pretty, pretty standard there. And one I've showed off many times before again. Got to thank my buddy Jeff Witcher for sending me this, the 12-inch single for Contagious on Geffen. And, um, you know, it's one of those things I don't, I don't concentrate on, on singles as much as certainly I do finding, like, you know, album format versions of things. But if I see a single of a band or song I like, I'll, I'll certainly pick it up. Um, has anybody out there got anything that goes with these or some, some, some cool uh, promo things you'd like to show off? Post, post them in the comments, like maybe on Facebook, maybe on Twitter, because I know YouTube and Instagram doesn't allow for that. But uh, yeah, I'd be interested to see what you've got out there for rare singles that aren't necessarily 45s. Thanks for watching this edition of Tim's Vinyl Confessions.